What's going on everybody? Jump Change XD here. Hopefully you're all staying healthy and having a great day. In this video, I want to show you guys this Shelly Wi-Fi switch basically makes any mining rig, computer, anything that runs off of 12 volts, a remote switch. You can shut it off when you're anywhere in the world with an app on your phone. So I'll show you guys that real soon. I want to show you guys how to wire this up. So let's get down to it. Looking at this sheet. As you can see, first thing, PCIe 8 pin connector. That is a GPU power connector, your typical standard 8 pin that you would use on a mining rig. This is a 6 plus 2 VGA cable, comes with the uh, P2 PSUs or any type of PSU for that matter. These cables, if you look at them closely, the shapes correlate with the shapes on this page. And I will leave a link to this image right here down in the description below so you guys can reference it. But looking straight ahead at this cable, we automatically know the bottom left three are the 12 volts. Like it says right there, yellow is 12 volts. The green is a sense B, you're not gonna need that so just disregard it. All the dark grays are grounds, those are the other ones you need and you don't need the sense A so just disregard it. We're only gonna deal with these two pins right here on this eight pin adapter. So I'll show you guys how this works. I know everybody has those right there. These are the SATA by six pin adapters that come with those uh, 009S risers or any type of riser usually has this type of adapter, except for the good ones. But the cheap ones you get on Amazon will usually come with these SATA by six pins. So looking at this right here, same thing, pins, on the end of this cable correlate with the shapes here. So you look at it with the clip facing up, just like it shows in the picture, the clip's on top. Ground, 12 volt, same thing, ground 12 volt. This one, it's got the half because these PCIe by SATA will not have a wire there, but some of those six pin cables that you get for your breakout board, say, over there, they will have a wire here, which is gonna be 12 volts. So. That's why it's like half and half, and then the blue is disregarded, you don't need it. So we're gonna be using this today, and we're gonna be using this today. First things first, we're gonna hook up our Shelly to the regular VGA cable off of our PSU. You guys, don't throw these out, keep them. Always good for wire. So what I'm gonna do, basically, just cut the ends off for right now, because what I need is the wire. I don't need the ends right this second. This right now is just for me personally, because I have purchased this connector kit. These are ferrule pin cord end terminal sets, and it has basically different pins for all different gauge wire. These white pins right here, they work perfect to push right into these cables. Literally, they just stick right into the pins. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crimp those connectors one onto each side of each of these. First things first, you need a set of wire strippers. You're basically gonna strip the wire. So it's just bare like that. Nice bare wire. Always twist the ends just to make them a little tight. Then we'll take one of these white pins right here feed it through right down over the black you see how I basically stripped it just about the same size as the pin so when I stick this all the way through you take your crimpers and basically just crimp it right at the base just give it a squeeze you have a nice pinched end to put into the a pin PCIe so let me crimp the other end of this one and this other wire and we'll be back in a second. All right, so there you have it. We have four ends crimped. What you'll also need is a, one of those cheap uh, push button switches that come with the VETA frames. Well, any frame actually, I believe, comes with some sort of a uh, little push button switch for you. But we're gonna take the switch off it. The only end we really want is this power switch end that goes on the motherboard. So power switch, I already cut off, I already stripped and crimped one side. 
I just wanted to show you guys how thin this wire is. This is a lot harder to crimp, even though this is so small. It's just hard to get it to uh, pinch the actual wire. So you might have to do it just a few times, but it's really not too difficult. I mean, you could totally do it. It just, you gotta crimp it in a couple different ways. Maybe an angle here or there, but yeah, make sure it's nice and tight, not gonna come off. Okay, so that's the end that's going to the board. That's the other side of the Shelly switch. One thing you have to do to this inside the Shelly. So you can take a pair of pliers or like a quarter or a butter knife and just pry this apart, okay, until the seal cracks. Open it up. If you could see this little pin right here, you have to jump that from those two pins on the left to the right and the middle. So basically pull it off like that and you put it back on right here. This allows it to accept 12 volts. If you have it on the other side, you can actually power this with 120 or 240, which is pretty cool. Click it back together. All right, now let's show you how to do this. All right, so now you're gonna need a uh, small flathead screwdriver to get into these uh, little screws on the top here. So basically loosen the left one, the second from the left, the far right one, and the second from the right. The middle one, I believe, is to intertwine somehow, but I'm really not sure. It just says SW, I'm gonna leave it alone. All right, so right here, what we're gonna do is take the yellow, we're gonna put the yellow pin into the far right side. And we're gonna tighten it up. Snug enough so it's not gonna come out. Same thing with the black wire. We're gonna put it in the next slot right here. Again, you don't gotta go too crazy. You just wanna make sure it's snug and not gonna come out. Then what we're gonna do is take the power switch. Doesn't really matter which way you put these. One's going in the left and one's going in the right on the left side of the switch. And we're gonna tighten them down again, just so they're nice and snug. And we're not gonna tug on these ones because this wire is really thin. I don't want it to rip out because that is always a potential. All right, so, well, give it a little tug, make sure it's good. Okay. You just don't want to tug on it too hard because that wire can come right out super easy. All right, so here we have that. Now what we're gonna do is looking at this uh, eight pin PCIe, we're gonna reference our sheet again. And as you can see, bottom left, 12 volts, top left, ground. So we're going to take the yellow wire right here and we're going to stick it in the bottom left pin. because that, like I said, those little crimped fittings fit directly into the pins. Because like I said, these ends that I crimped on in that kit fit directly into the pins. And I will leave a link to that kit in the description below. And then we're gonna take the black and do the same thing directly above the yellow. So we have far left of the plug with the pin on top that clips onto the GPU Far left, bottom, power, top, ground. That's what it says on this sheet, that's what I'm going by. So if we blow anything up, we know the sheet's wrong. <laughs> but I don't think that's the case. So for now, I just slung the uh, VGA cable over here and I put the Shelly right there, just because it's very convenient for me to get to this uh, motherboard switch. As you can see right here is my uh, main motherboard switch and this is the wire that is going to the Shelly. So I need to take this motherboard switch and disconnect it so I can plug this one in. And over here on this board, this orange cable right here says power SW. So that is the power to the switch. So we're just going to disconnect that for the time being. We're gonna take this one that also says power SW and we're going to plug that in right in its place. 
just for future reference, directly in front of where those uh, cables are all plugged into, the pins actually have wording directly in front of it. It's super small and hard to see, but it tells you exactly where the power and reset switch are. So now that you guys know where to plug in for the uh, power switch, almost every motherboard's the same. They're always in the bottom right corner. This should be done, should be all hooked up. So if all goes well, I'm gonna turn this on, then we're gonna go into my phone, I'm gonna download the app, I think I'm gonna have to make an account, all that stuff, I'm really not sure how it works, to be honest. I'm gonna do it real quick, and then we're gonna connect the device live so you guys can see how to do it. I believe this is the app right here, so I'm going to download it, set up an account, and we'll show you how to connect that to the app. All right, so they're gonna make you agree to this uh, private policy. All right, so we're adding a room. I just put mining rig test, save the room. Now you're gonna to go to add device. Now we're gonna go search for new devices. So then it's gonna ask you to allow the Shelly to join the network. And prior to this, I had to sign into my Wi-Fi basically so the app would allow the uh, unit to connect like this so you're going to go to a spot where it says discover devices and then your device should pop up so i'm going to click to add it to the room that we're in all right so i just labeled it smart switch i chose the mining room now it's the room that i made inside the app choose a device picture i just chose that uh, choose a relay and save so then this pops up, it says connect to cloud. Would you like to connect Shelly device to the cloud so you can control it remotely when you are not in your local network? Yes. That way I can remotely turn this on and off anywhere in the world. Well, theoretically. Then it'll say device was successful. So let's hit that button and see. I heard a click. Wow. So it's not gonna turn back on, and I'm gonna explain to you guys why. Even though I hit it again, the Shelly is now offline. These ATX PSUs do not have constant power. So, in the middle of me hooking this up, I realized this wasn't going to work as an on-off switch for a typical rig like this. On the other hand, when you power these from a breakout board, say like in my mining location where I have all server PSUs, these are perfect because breakout boards have constant power. So let me show you how to hook it up to a breakout board. Obviously I can't test it because I don't have a server PSU here with me as you guys just saw in the last couple videos. I did just move all of my rigs and everything over to the crypto mining garage so the reason i hooked it up on this test bench or old studio rig rather is because i wanted to show you guys that this actually works going on and off from your phone through wi-fi so there's that you guys saw it worked shuts off perfectly fine let me show you how to hook it up to a breakout board and then we'll call it a day there we go Another one of them SATA by six pins that uh, I don't advise you throw out. What we're going to do here is rip out the pins and we're gonna leave two pins in. Obviously, positive, negative. Come back to the end and cut it. Now it's just cut. Again, we're gonna strip it. Two more fittings crimped on it and you're good to go so now basically breakout board six pin in doesn't matter where any of them will do the same thing make sure this end is plugged in to the shelly before you plug in the six pin you will get shocked again power on the left neutral on the right tighten them down 
and that's it. That's literally all she wrote. This thing will turn on that, no problem. Again, I can't show you guys the breakout board because I don't have a server PSU with me. So what I'll do in an upcoming video real soon, I will go to the crypto mining garage and I will install these Shellys onto my rigs and we'll see how that goes. Hopefully the Wi-Fi signal is strong enough. But as always guys, I appreciate you all for watching. I will leave a link to all of this stuff in the description below. These end connectors, the Shellys, I'll even put a breakout board and a server PSU in there. Obviously, our good friends at GPURisers.com, their link's in there if you guys need risers. I will also leave a uh, link to get this picture somehow, some way. I'll leave it down in the description. But as always, guys, I appreciate you all for watching. Please stay safe, and I'll see you guys real soon.